Hey, what is going on, guys? It's me, Parksy here, back on the DGBA Season 4 channel. I am co I am your coach of the Arma Armados, of course. If these guys aren't worried about me, I I've been here for way too long. We are here with the coach of the Los Angeles Lavatar. We are here with Jack. How are you doing? Good, Parksy. How are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, well, I'm here with the champion of season three so it's gonna be very cool to ask him some questions but my first question is how did you get into draft leagues exactly just a quick background story well, i've been watching draft leagues ever since like i think the start of oras uh like gba season four season five around that time uh never really got fully involved because i enjoyed kind of just watching it not actually playing but only just until recently this year like earlier in the year around uh february slash march i actually started to actually join a few leagues um and yeah the rest is kind of history i've just been playing ever since i've really enjoyed it uh, i've always enjoyed watching a bunch of different youtubers um and just learning uh how to prep for certain teams how to play better and uh yeah yeah that sounds pretty good i uh, i think i started off in the dgba season 5 slash the UC ucl season 2 so i was running that time as well but my next question is why did you pick your team name as the Los Angeles Larvatars, exactly. So, when I first started, I joined this league. I, at first, I didn't really think, like, I needed a team name or anything. So I joined <laughs> this one league, it's like, hey, what's your team name? And I'm like, crap. I was one. <laughs> Wasn't really creative. Uh, not really creative person, just trying to think of something. And I just came up with this, like, Larvatars and Pokemon, I think. Yeah, that's... Larvatar for fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, I don't know. I just like it. I live in live near the area of Los Angeles. Yeah, I okay. love Ritar. Yeah, <laughs> that, too crazy. That, that sounds pretty fair. I mean, people ask me why I picked the Armar Maldus, and I'm like, yeah, I, I just live near the general area, and yeah, Armaldo, cool. Right. But what do you think helped you win season three of the DGBA? So when I first went into it, and I got my team. Uh, I thought it was a pretty cool team, a different style team I've never really drafted before, a lot of mods never used before. And I started to notice toward like being like middle of the season, I was doing okay, I was kind of winning one, losing one. Uh, my team was very hinted around only having Dawn fan as my fizz stuff check. So it was really tough, uh, but I felt like my offense uh, in like my, my Fairy Dragon Steel core of Jirachi, Gujarat, Primarina was just really tough for teams to deal with. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice cool. I first started, yeah, ever since I started using Prim, it was like, you know, oh, I throw specs on it. But, uh, no, nah, it, it's it's all about the sub-lefties with either, like, you've, up or top. You've used sub-lefties like, Prim Arena so many times. Like, all the replays i just seen you, oh, it's, it's Jack with sub-lefties Prim Arena. I don't know, I find, I find it's really good at times. And teams it is really good. Specs set and they gotta start prepping for that. Um, and uh, I think it's with the offensive, like, Mega Absol and... It was just really fun for me. Um, I just felt as if it was tough to prep for some Fizz Def teams. Um, so it's just like, like, I had a tough time prepping for Non Zero team, you know, like Mega Zardex, Dawn, uh, Mammoth Wine. I only had Dawn Fan and Tangla, and they both share weaknesses. So it's it was really tough. But I felt like my offense with like Absol, like I said, and Terrakion, yeah. the Gudra, I guess pivoting with Electros really helped me out. To be fair, when do you never like not fear Non Zero? like? <laughs> He's a pretty good person, and I, I, got, I got tossed by him in yeah. your season. You always draft honestly. like so many good teams. I don't get it, but um, that, that's pretty good. And I feel like substitute from Reno was a really good idea in your end, just because it hits so hard that essentially you have to sack off a Pokemon just to break a substitute. I would say, in my personal opinion, because it's got Water and Fairy Stab, which is incredible. It's tough for teams to deal with that. Yeah. That do. So my next question is, what do you think your record will be this season? So I, when I ever play draft, I always aim to just try and finish positive or just make it get a playoff spot. With being the champion of last season, it's still the same. Just try to make playoffs, the competitions even better. Yeah. I'm hoping. I've you know other coaches have said this already. I'm hoping for something. Like five and four, six and three, something just positive or something that's gonna get me a playoff spot, even if it's second seed. I don't mind. You gotta, and once I make playoffs, really anything can happen. Same thing. Same thing happened for last season as well. Just my goal was to make playoffs, and I did. So, okay, that's pretty good. Pretty much. Yeah, uh, 
it's playoffs. You have people this this time? Are you sure? Or I feel like it's somewhere around eight people because last time it was eight people and it was out of twelve people. So now instead of being like two thirds of people getting the playoffs, it's half the people because now yeah. there's sixteen competitors. It's gonna, be, it's, it's gonna be tougher. It's gonna be tougher, but uh, I'm looking for a challenge. So. And I always say this like every time I do one. Of the, I always say this every time I do one of these interviews, but. Every single person in the DGBA is pretty darn good. They all know how to battle. They've all got quite a good bit of experience. So you're not gonna have one of those. Yeah, you're not gonna have one of those like easy team matchups. I would say like you're definitely gonna be tested every single week uh, to bring. Everyone's gonna have a pretty pretty close to an even record. I feel no one's gonna go 09. Someone's probably you know at least record might be something like three and six. No one's gonna three losses. So. Yeah. Or two three wins rather. Okay, my next question is, what do you think of this points draft in comparison to the tier drafts? Because you've had it quite a lot in the DGBA, but this is something new. Do you enjoy it, or would you rather go back to tiers or something else? Um, personally, when I heard what we were doing this uh, point system, I didn't really know what to think about it. I was a bit confused on like how I would make a plan in comparison to tier drafting. I feel like this is tier drafting for me personally. It is a bit easier to create a plan. Uh, I didn't know how to draft with this style. I guess figured I draft balance, um, but uh, I def I, I think I prefer the tier draft system. I think with this, some teams are mm. you know, uh, with the amount of points we had and how many teams just drafted like eight just power mons and then three mons that are like. So I feel less, so. I don't know. I think teams can be quite busted, but every everyone's team solid, which makes it I guess a bit more fun. Yeah. I feel, I feel yeah, like I, I kind of prefer tier draft. I feel like uh, this season was kind of it was really harsh towards weather because every time you wanted to draft a weather Pokemon that's got a speed boosted by yeah. Rain or Hail, you had to increase it by one point four times. So I'm pretty sure Excadrill with Sand costed like twenty points, which Excadrill is good. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's not like yeah, that's like, not worth it. Yeah, it, it's not, like, 20 points was, like, Mega Morwell, okay? I'd rather draft Mega Morwell, personally, than an yeah. extra mm -hmm. Okay, so my, yep. my final question for you is, who do you think will be your scariest opponent this season, in terms of team, or if you know if they're good or bad, or whatever? Well, like we said before, no matchup's gonna be easy. Uh, it, like, I you know everyone probably says this, no one wants to play non-zero i got <laughs> absolutely tossed by him last season uh he just completely got me um also i think the coach it was the one of the first games i brought that sub prim set and i feel like you know he's a bit frustrated after i feel like he's really gonna come <laughs> after me this season with this team he's got very scary that's so scary um just the new coaches don't know how they play they somewhat know how i play if they watch the final uh don't know anything about them uh, I think also uh, MX3's team, his team is just so bulky, even if it only really has, like, Victini Absol for offense, like... And he knows how to use Victini, I assure you, okay? I've yeah, been in, like, three leagues of that day. So, I, I, I'm scared of that he's in my division as well, I don't know how that's gonna go. But, yeah, I mean, all the new coaches, you know, everyone, and everyone, to be honest, I don't want to play, but I guess mostly, you know... This team's yeah. disgusting with the pussy skarmory. Don't like that. <laughs> right, okay. So thank you, Jack, for hopping on here with me. It's really appreciated. We actually kind of tried to organize this multiple times, but with time zones and with me being busy and, and him, him, him being busy at certain times, it was hard to, you know, kind of get a good time to interview. But we finally did it. And Jack, is there anything you'd like to say before we end off this video? Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm... Uh... This season, <laughs> I'm gonna give the title to someone else. Uh, I don't want this target on my back. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna go for it. All right, nice. Let's see what happens. All right, well, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to go check out everyone's YouTube channels. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Maybe if you want me to ask other questions. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video, and see you in the next interview. Goodbye.